Hey folks, Thomas Trotter here. I've got a really great exercise for you. We're going to be working on subdivisions and playing different subdivisions within the same drum beat. The subdivisions will change on the hi-hat. We're going to keep a very consistent beat between the kick and the snare drum. One and three on the kick, two and four on the snare. It's the first beat everybody learns, basically boom, crack, boom, crack. The hi-hat will change though. It will start at quarter notes, boom, crack, boom, crack, incrementally increasing speed with each subdivision change all the way up to 32nd notes. And then from 32nd notes all the way back down to quarter notes. Um, I will play each subdivision in the beat independently first by itself so that you can hear the way each one sounds. And then once I've gone through them all, I will start the exercise at the beginning, play it all the way through, all the way up to 32nd notes, all the way back down to quarter notes, and that'll be it. So play along if you can. Um, it's a fun one. It's pretty tough, but it's very rewarding. The freedom that you will achieve by being able to transition smoothly from subdivision to subdivision will translate in all different ways and will really open up your playing. So let's go. Now that we've played them all independently, if you were struggling with any of those subdivisions, work on it before we move on to the exercise. Make sure you can play every one of those smoothly by themselves. Be patient with this. Loop it for minutes, tens of minutes, half hour, an hour. Play it as slow as you need to play it to be able to play it perfectly. Set your tempo at whatever works for you. I had my tempo set at 120, which is double time of really what the beat is. It's very slow at 60 beats per minute. I set my tempo to 120 because I like those clicks to be a little more consistent to help me stay on bass. So make sure you have them all good and smooth and now we'll go ahead and do the exercise from start to finish.
Thank you for watching the video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. This, um, this exercise helped me a lot, you know, helped me achieve a little bit more freedom bouncing between subdivisions. So thank you again. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe. I'll be uploading lots more drum videos. Bye guys.